Another palm struck Roy's ear, and he felt his vision blur for a moment. You are a mess. You telegraph your movements so clearly that anyone with a bit of training can read them. You swing wild and focus on power instead of precision. You have literally no guard, nor reflexes designed to block. You fight like what you are, an overly strong fool who never learned how to focus his power. Roy blinked to clear his eyes. I don't need to guard from sissy shit like that. I'm tougher than a three-dollar steak, blondie. (sighs) Spoken like a true idiot. I bet you didn't even bother to research my power before challenging me, did you? Yeah, I know what it is. You suck dick like a hoover. I'm afraid not. My power is total control of my body, from the muscles that I move all the way down to my cells and the chemical composition of my skin. (laughs) That's a pretty weak-ass power. (laughs) Most people would agree. Of course, most people wouldn't think of ingesting carbon and other minerals daily to make their muscles as strong as interwoven steel cables and their bones harder than diamonds. Most people underestimate how useful full control of one's mind is, of the power in being able to instantly train reflexes and increase the speed of one's perception. I assure you, it is not a weak power. And if you come at me one more time, I'll illustrate that to you personally. Oh, bring it on, baby cakes. Roy charged forward once more. But this time, he didn't get a chance to swing his fists. Chad was suddenly beneath him, driving his fist into Roy's stomach. Before the pain could even register, Chad had taken Roy's left arm and spun it around behind him, cracking and breaking it loudly. Roy's feet went out from under him as Chad's hand wrapped around Roy's head and drove it crashing into the concrete. Chad reared his leg back to kick, and Roy felt the sensation of broken ribs. In what seemed like less than a second, Chad had utterly destroyed it. By the way, one last thing about my weak power. I inherited it from my father. Ah! Chad raised his leg until his foot was over his shoulder, then brought it crashing down onto Roy's head. Ah! 